reactions as actress Iyaba Ojo sues Naira Mali 1 billion Naira over undelivered letter. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. Veteran actress and one of the front burner for Justice for Mubad, Iyaba Ojo has sued the record label of Malian Record, Aziz Fashola, demanding for 1 billion naira from him for failing to deliver a letter which was made public. Lawyers of Aziz Fashola Naramali demanded at first a public apology when Naramali slammed Yaba Ojo 500 million naira in damages, citing a September 2023 Instagram post by Yabo, where she accused Naramali of engaging in spiritual and physical dealings with the late singer Mubad and causing him mental harm. Naramali's lawyer, Olale Konjo, had outlined the accusation in a letter to Ojo, which she now claims was brought to the media and public, but deliberately not delivered or served. Remember some about a week ago when um, Naramali slammed Yabo Ojo um, the defamation of character suit? It was pasted online, and of course everybody had their thoughts and their uh, concerns about it and in that letter he cited moment where Yabo Ojo was said to have said some things in videos that she did on Instagram live on her Instagram page. Yabo Ojo's lawyer described the letter as a social media blackmail and I quote, our client would have ordinarily dismissed your letter dated 12 December 2023 for being outrightly inconsequential and of no relevance premised on your failure to transmit the correspondence till this very day. Our clients find your clients' demands spurious, frivolous, and cloud-chasing, but shall initiate an action in case your client fails to do so. Our clients shall be claiming the sum of 1 billion naira. Now, they said the letter that Sinaimali shared online about the suite was intended Latterly caused grievous harm. See, personality, actress, Yabo Ojo. Hmm. So now that uh, Yabo, I mean, Naramali has sued Yabo Ojo 500 million naira. And Yabo Ojo is slamming him 1 billion naira. Reason being that the letter was not delivered to her, but it was shared on the public space, which... He is seen to cause grievous harm to Yabo. So this Yabo's, I, please, you can go to their pages to read. It's a lengthy letter. And though the print are not even so, so you got to take your time to read the context of the letter. But in summary, that is what I just put there. It wasn't in denial of what Maramalia said. What Yabo's lawyer, I mean, lawyer has written is that Kilo de tie serve letter in directly soon, either by email or by delivery. Why must it be splashed on social media? Now, the question is we hope that when Iyabo's suit against the Ramali 2 was done, it was not just splashed on social media, it was delivered to Naramali. Though she indicated that when she posted that on her page, but we just have to balance our views to be sure that Boshiwa Lushiwa. Let's take a few comments. Somebody said, Well, she's not facing reality. She's cutting corners, looking for excuses. Anyway, how would the lawyer buy Christmas wealth for his children? Oh. Another person said, Hmm, this case go long go. Waiting where they ask her, waiting she they talk. So, um, going by how this case is going now. It's just um, distractions everywhere, you know. The justice, the, the energy of anyone who is trying to lend a voice to this justice for mobile movement, for now, is supposed to be to call for the autopsy. Yes, we know that the government is the one in charge of this autopsy. It's not something between individuals. It's between the state. The government would not, of course, share the document of the autopsy out, right? But the result is supposed to be known by the parties that are supposed to know it. That is, Mobad's family, 
members. And among the family members now, it is Yam Pepe Scatter Scatter. With now throwing stones, calling each other names, saying, you will pay if you pay and our son the way you pay your father, as Rumi said to Baba. And as Baba speakers continually for several weeks and months, being on Rumi's case that she has a hand in it, you know, for those who have experience of the law, for you to claim someone did something, you have to have evidence. Because when they call you, like they say, you go explain, 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 tire, no evidence. And in law, like I always say as well, ignorance is not an excuse. So before you say something that you're not sure of, you better quote it properly. So that Allah Pao Nipada quote everybody. Because those, for example, who think that, you know, you can just say anything you like online. Yeah, you can say anything you like in your sitting room, in your private room, but whatever you put online, be very careful of how you're reporting it. So that, especially when it comes to the pie of someone, hmm, it is not an easy thing. And if we cannot get our security agencies to act on this issue, then we are just going to look, lose focus on justice for Mubad. For some people who think that it is by cursing, cursing, cursing online that we get justice, it doesn't work. The law does not have emotions. The law will work according to the evidence you are able to prove in the court of law. So until someone is tagged to be guilty, it's just alleged, you know, as my Yoba people will say. So we need to move the law. We need to move the security agencies so that the law can be in its full course. Now is holiday period, Christmas season. And from the last thing we heard that the corona inquest that was supposed to take place in December was rescheduled. At first they said March, so March 2024. Now some people are insinuating that it has been moved to May 2024. So it will That's January, February, March, April, May, the next five months. Is that when Mubad's corpse will be buried? Though Baba has come out to say that it's the chance for the reburial of his son. And he's doing it all alone, you know. After cutting the Yabo Ojo off and Tonto DK, who had gone ahead trying to purchase a um, casket. But the casket was finally donated by the owner of the vault company. And 50% off for the vault is going to be buried in a, you know, in a proper... Um, well, how do we put it? Uh, in a polished, let me use that word, um, grave site that is befitting for a boy that did not enjoy life. At least that his body, that um, corpse cop, uh, body enjoy life. But we don't know what the plans are as, as that. Donations are still allegedly. Foreign has opened a new account. And of course, people who are led to do that should please go ahead and help him. You know, so that is where we are now. So the concern is, let's see how this pans out between Naramali and Yabojo. Naramali slam 500 million. Yabojo slam 1 billion naira. The question of people they ask, we say, when now they see this money, they will now go just the cause slam, 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 slam. And at the end of the day, we no go hear anything again. All the slam, slam, slam. We never hear anybody where they slam like that. Where you pay the money. Because at the end of the day, lawyers go sit down. They go dig the thing out. Sorry, good day, sorry. Every internal something will be dotted. But anyway, justice will be bad. It will.